Hey everyone, Val here, and happy Vlogmas day. Not sure, because if you know me, I tape my videos randomly. I could do two or three a day when I'm taping, and then I put them up whenever I can put them up. I do my weekly weigh-ins on Monday, and uh, right now I'm doing an Advent study live stream on Tuesday mornings at 10 a.m., so I don't want to post a second video on those two days. Uh, they are my Vlogmas videos, so even though I've recorded over the weekend, I know that I can't post it on Monday or Tuesday because I already have something set up, so you'll probably see it on Wednesday or Thursday. But anyway, happy Vlogmas <laughs> with all that out of the way. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. And uh, let's see what I'm doing for Vlogmas today. So, the kids have spent the weekend with us, Adeline and Dean. Adeline is nine and Dean is five, and we have had an awesome weekend. And if you haven't seen those videos, go back and check them out because we made gingerbread houses and we went to the Santa Parade and we went out to lunch and we just had a good time. And they made us very tired. We watched Christmas movies and played cards and got tired. So, uh... I think Steve and Adeline were the first two that fell asleep uh, Saturday night or Friday night when they got there and uh, Saturday too. We were very tired. So today I wanted to put together some Salvation Army Christmas stockings. I try to do that every year. Um, I had a friend, Mary Lou, that uh, she believed all children should have a Christmas because she didn't grow up with a very good Christmas time. As a child, uh, I guess they struggled through the holidays. She just didn't, they didn't celebrate Christmas. So she was dedicated to making sure every, every Christmas, every child had a Christmas. So my friend Mary Lou passed away years back with cancer. I miss her dearly, but I uh, used to volunteer with her at the distribution center. I have continued to do that when I could. Now that I'm retired, I have volunteered for shifts there, but I also look for other ways I can to make sure that children have a happy life because I think that's what it's all about. So last year I put together a whole lot of Christmas stockings, but this year I am on a fixed income, so I am limited to what I can do but I am still dedicated to put together some stockings. So these are the stockings. They're the Fox stockings. I have some more in a box over there, but they didn't give me the little tops to them. So I'm going to have to um, figure out a way to make little tops for them if I need to have more stockings. But I'm going to turn you guys around and I'm going to show you some of the things that I've collected to put in the stockings this year. And I'm going to put some stockings together because I need to take them to the center tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last volunteer shift there. Uh, I was going to volunteer one more shift with the church. I want to do something with the church. So uh, we're, we also are going to put together some stockings for the nursing home. So I want to be part of that. And I sewed the stockings. They cut them all out and I brought them home and sewed them. And uh, I just want to get more involved with the church and our local community too. So I'm going to be doing that with them instead of my final volunteer shift at the center, which they're overstaffed for anyway, and they have volunteers on the waiting list, so it's not like I'm cutting them short. So I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to show you what I've got to put in the stockings, and then I'm going to start putting them together, and I'll show you when I finish because I don't want you to sit through an hour of me stuffing stockings because that uh, you probably got better things to do. It's Christmas time anyway. You probably are decorating and making cookies and, and uh, all the fun stuff that comes with Christmas. So let me turn you around. Okay, my sister Patty bought crayons and she saved them for me. And when I went over the summer up there, she gave me this box of crayons. I have some, uh, these are little activity books. And then I have some color books. So they'll get some of those in the stockings. This is a, I got a few of these. I bought a case of this Play-Doh and it's the little tin. So I'll probably put two or three of those in a stocking. And then there are some little cutouts and things that were in the box. And I'll probably throw 
<clears throat> a couple of those in each of the stockings that I put the Play-Doh in. I have some Matchbox cars that were donated through the Woody Foundation. I'm going to take those out of the box, actually, and put those individually into the stockings. I got these from Oriental Trading. These guys are little elves. thought they were cute, so they'll go like one in a stocking. Um, and then I had some of these too that I found early in the year, I think around Easter time, that they were marked down to almost nothing. And they were in one of the like Walgreens, I think. So I bought, I think, five or six of those. I thought those are cute. They're the ones that go uh, on the little kids' wrists. I got some pens. These are uh, markers. These are kind of cool, fine markers. Um, these are more for teenagers, I guess, maybe. 10 and up maybe, uh, little hair ties and hair bands, some more markers and stuff down there. I have some crazy eights and hearts and old maids cards, go fish. I have a dozen of those I think. There are some baby dolls and then for the babies I do have some of these little um, things for the babies. I got this little set for the babies. Um, I did get these little toys I can throw into a stocking. The little LOL trading cards. I think more for 8, 9, 10 year old. Something like that. These little toys. Tiny toy surprise. I think more for 8, 9, 10 year old. The LOL all surprise ball. Um, there's some Barbies down in here. There's some thermos jugs. These are cool. There's um, the Minecraft and uh, Buzz Lightyear and some other stuff. I got about a dozen or so of those. This little guy, don't know what he is, but that's for a little boy, probably like that. This is for a little boy. Somebody might like that if I can fit that into a stocking. Uh, let's see, uh, baby bottles, got some baby bottles, got a little baby toy, I got some socks for some older teens to go with the teen stuff and some hats for older teens, got a uh, bunches of gloves, What the gloves I don't use in the stockings are going to go to the Salvation Army, I'm going to take them down there and donate those, and my mom knit a whole bunch of mittens, so I'm going to put a few in the younger kids and um, that what doesn't go into the stockings will go down to From the Heart Stitchers. I'm going to donate them and they'll find a, a nice home for those. So let's see. I think that was it in the bin. Just bunches more mittens or gloves. So and then these toys over here, the uh, fire truck. And the big box toys, there's two of the sets of these. That's going to go, our neighborhood normally does a toy drive. So that's going to go to their toy drive. So let me get started. There's a lot of stuff on this table. So everybody get a pair of a mittens for the younger kids. Um, the older kids will get, and everybody, I have some hats. So I'll put hats in as long as I have them. After they're gone, that's all I have. So those are more for the older kids, and I do have a few for the older kids. So that's that's for the older kids, and this one would be for the older kids. All right, and there are some baby socks. So I can put that in with the baby bottles, and this pair of socks can go more for a boy around, probably around six years old or something, five, six maybe. Alrighty, let me get going. Start putting some of this stuff together. And then I gotta do my Christmas cards. I started those, but I haven't got very far. So I gotta continue to do those. I've been working for about an hour. I have like 10 stockings done. That's like it. Maybe 45 minutes. I still got all the girls. Most of these are boys, couple babies. Now I'm working on the girl stuff. I got one more boy, one to go and then I have this girl stuff and a little bit of teenage stuff if it'll fit in a stocking if I have enough to put in the stocking if not I'll just send it for them to put with some of the the older children with their their bags so 
I still have a lot of Play-Doh left too. I haven't done much Play-Doh. So let me keep going, get finished doing this. I have finished all of the Salvation Army Christmas stockings. I believe there's about 22 or something there. So that's all I got. My table's pretty much cleared off. Got rid of pretty much everything. I'm going to just donate the rest of this to the Salvation Army and they can do with it as they please. So that's it for the Salvation Army Christmas stockings for today. All right. I have all my Christmas cards addressed and stamped and ready to go. I'm not showing you the addresses on them, but um, this is all my cards for this year. I'm going to stop at the post office tomorrow on my way to the Salvation Army for my last shift, my last uh, volunteer shift there. I have these cute little stamps that I'm using this year, which are Charlie Brown. So... Um, just got to run by the post office and drop these off tomorrow and then do my uh, Salvation Army and then come home and work on my quilt. And I got a couple new stockings because we have two new people in the family, a daughter-in-law and a son-in-law. So we have to get stockings for both of them. And I want to put their names on them and get those hung up and uh, we'll move on to the next thing. So, happy Vlogmas. That's all for today. Hope y'all are having a wonderful Vlogmas, a happy holidays. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. And I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye now.